Welcome to Columbus Metropolitan Library's Ready for Kindergarten Skill Builders. Today's focus skill is rhyming. If you watched last week's video, we talked about phonemic awareness, which is breaking the parts of speech down into their individual components or phonemes. So last week, we talked about beginning letter sounds. Beginning letter sounds is focusing on that first phoneme of a word or the first sound. Sometimes it's a letter, sometimes it's a blend, like bl is a blend. But this week, we're going to talk about rhyming. Rhyming is about focusing on that end phoneme or the end of the word. Rhyming is so easy to practice, and you don't even have to do it with actual words. Sounds are a great opportunity to practice rhyming, as Dr. Seuss has taught us. Rhyming is really about recognizing things that sound alike or matching those end phoneme sounds. My personal favorite way, I'm a librarian after all, is books. Books are such a fun way of practicing rhyming. And if you remember last week, we read the book, Bear Snores On. We read a few pages of this. I'm gonna read a few pages to show you how you can emphasize the end phoneme or the rhyme in each page. So many children's books are rhyming for this reason. Rhyming is actually one of the hardest ready for kindergarten skills. So this is one that you could practice every day. You could incorporate it all throughout your day because it's a sound, it's a function of the ear that kiddos take longer to pick up. Some kiddos might get it naturally right away, but it's a really hard skill that you will need to practice more and more as your little one is approaching kindergarten. So, bear snores on. I'm gonna read the first few pages again. In a cave in the woods, in his deep dark lair, through the long cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. So here we've got lair and bear cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight. He sleeps through the day. He sleeps through the night. So on these first two pages, we've got every other sentence ending with a rhyme. On this page though, we get them back to back, which is the easier rhyme scheme for your little ones to learn. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, howl and growl, but the bear snores on. That's how the whole book will go. We'll get four lines and four lines on a page where every other sentence rhymes, and then we'll get a couplet where two rhyming sentences are butted up against each other. So, an itty bitty mouse pit patter tiptoe creep crawls in the cave through the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks too damp, too dank, too dark, so he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. You could pause here and have your little ones identify the rhyming words, but again, the couplets are easier. So the coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop. Pop and stop, but the bear snores on. So many books serve this function to practice rhyming. I mentioned Dr. Seuss, but so many of the classics are about this. However, as fond as I am of books as a way of practicing this, there is an equally good method that requires nothing at all, which is singing. So many of us know a nursery rhyme. I bet if you think right now, you can come up with at least one, if not more, nursery rhymes that you remember from your own childhood. Nursery rhymes, it's in the name, it's about rhyming, and it's something you can do when you're waiting in line at the grocery or driving in your car, during bath time, brushing teeth. Anytime you have a chance to sing with your little one, it's a great opportunity to practice rhyming. So nursery rhymes and songs might be tied with books for me as my favorite way to practice rhyming. So again, this is really just about emphasizing that, emphasizing that end word, end sound of the word, the last phoneme, and really getting your little one to start training their ear to listen out for those. As they get more advanced, they can practice predicting an end rhyme sound like cat, hat, and then you could go further, mat, rat, pat. Them practicing those words is gonna be really fun for them as they start mastering this skill. They love throwing out the rhyming word. So that's where you could go next, but I would really just start by reading books, and practicing emphasizing that end sound and talking about it with your little one. The more you talk to them, the easier it's going to be. Thank you for joining me.